I like fire. Fire is exciting. Oh, in there like swimwear. First, I'm going to start out with an overview of my big electric system and my little Honda Odyssey. First, my batteries. I built these out of 18650s reclaimed from tool batteries and laptop batteries. I recently added a new stick to this and I took the old shrink wrap off and put clear stuff on there so I could keep an eye on my fuses. Over here are my connections. The individual connections to the battery are connected by XT90s. I have a parallel balance lead and that goes to my JK BMS right here. Now each one of these has their own balance wire and they're all parallel together for the BMS. Here my positives come in. This is a fuse block and each one of these batteries is individually fused for 30 amps. Our main cutoff switch which is actually a 90 amp breaker right here. And I have the whole system fused for 100 amps. And here's my bus bars, positive and negative. I tried to keep all the positives away from all the negatives, but there are places where they had to cross. Here is my solar charge controller. Uh, the wires for that come, go straight down through the roof, out right here to the solar charge controller. And I can cut that off, 25 amp breaker. This is my battery to battery that comes from my alternator. There's wires, it's fused at the battery and then I can switch it off right here. So all that stuff goes to the bus bars. Oh, both of the negatives from the charge controllers come straight through here. And then from the bus bars, feeds my little fuse box right here. All my small circuits come out through these cable looms here and here. This is a 24 volt system. It usually runs at between 28 and 29 volts, but I do have 12 volt needs. And for those, I use something like this, it's a 24 to 12 converter, uh, but I use a bigger one in here. And that feeds my heater and one of my power panels farther up in the cabin. This fuse here feeds my inverter with these two big cables here, I think those are number twos. And it's a 24 volt reliable inverter, it says 1500 watts, it's only good for about 11 and it cuts out. There's the control to my heater. That wire goes down the panel and comes out into the electric box. Now we'll move forward into the cabin to see what I do with all this juice. I have my fan. It runs natively on 24 volts. I have my tape lights and they run on 24 volts. In there are my Christmas light modules. One on either side. And here I have my power panel. It's a voltmeter, two type C USBs, a USB A, and an XT60. All of this is 24 volts. I have the same setup on this side, but this side is 12 volts. I have a 12 volt power plug instead of a voltmeter in this side, because some stuff is still 12 volts. I have my little touch lamp up here. I got a quarter inch stud up there. Right now my disco ball is on it, but I can mount anything up there. Power outlet coming out. That can be pretty much any connector and any voltage under 30 volts. I can sit back here for days in a blizzard and that heater keeps on going. I've got, I got everything I need. Because I'm headed out with four kilowatts of sustainable energy storage in a minivan. And I'm a big proponent of keeping everything DC to avoid the losses on battery power everything I got can run on DC okay with all of that said I got an inverter because I knew somebody that had one and I could get it cheap I wanted an inverter so I could try to use my late wife's instapot to air fry chicken wings in the middle of the woods but this inverter didn't have the ass to do it hopefully a better one will come along now let's show you how I put all this stuff together I went from this to this let's get started all of this has to come out to make room for this. Got it cheap and I'm going to use it until somebody wants to buy me something better or until I blow it up. I'm not going to change the heater. I'm going to build around it. So I got to take this out. I have to somehow maintain this in its position because the uh, heater is mounted to it. But I'm going to get this out of here right now. Thank <laughs> you. 
looks like I gotta take this a little deeper and everything will flop right in. Let's go look. One quarter of an inch later. Two quarters of an inch later. Okay, we got a deck. Okay, I'm trying to lay things out to see how best they fit. That's a pretty tight fit right there. If I did something different with this heater hose. Somewhere around here is when I decided I was going to need some bus bars and a fuse block. So right now, I'm putting the ends on some bigger cables. I'm going to get it. But I'm going to take this little set screw, put a couple dimples in here. And this shrink wrap is some really heavy duty shit. I'm putting together the cables to parallel all my batteries. I have four of these. They will sit like that. All the bottoms will go into a gang fuse. All of these will go into this. And this will go to the BMS. Look how all them wires want to lay the same way. <clears throat> oh, man, brainstorming here. Okay, kitties. I want to go in the hole. Oh, in there like swimwear. I love it. Yeah. I know if I had a real crimping tool, I'd be done by now, right? But I ain't got one. I ain't gonna spend the money for one for one job. Okay, so I'm getting ready to start rewiring my electrical system. The reasons I'm rewiring it is I want to add an inverter, another stick of batteries. Okay. I'm getting ready to finish the main wiring of the electrical system. And I got all the parts today. So here's where everything's going to be paralleled at. But I got to strip all the positives here. I'll put ferrules on them and put them in the fuse block and then lay it down and see where everything has to be. be an ideal situation but I'm gonna make it work okay so we're back let's finish up the big stuff Okay, I'm gonna start plugging shit in. I have this to monitor cell voltages as I'm plugging them in. But I have this parallel balance lead. And it's gonna connect all the batteries together with the BMS. Here are the balance leads from the BMS. Here are the balance leads from the parallel balance connector. I'm going to put all these together. I'm going to start marrying these ladies together. Try not to plug them up backwards. Okay, I ain't got no fire yet. I like fire. Fire is exciting. Okay. I'm feeling for any hot wires. In case anything was different. I ranged it so the new one will be the same voltage 
as the other ones when I added it to the system. Now this can go up here. Yeah. I'm good with that. Okay, now we gotta start the BMS device list. Here we are. Battery turn battery temperature 30 degrees. Whew, it is hot, I'm sweating. So we got balancing going on. Balance current, yes. So I'm gonna sit a while, get that in balance. Ooh, I'm gonna turn the chargers back on. Alright, now I can activate this. You know what? I forgot to turn on the main power switch. That 13 watch is just running the lights in the van. They all came on. But okay. Here's the main switch. Bam, no fire. Oh, and there we are. Charging away. All right, I'm gonna let that do his thing, and I'm gonna anchor these batteries in. Okay, so the major wiring is done. Here's where we are. The batteries are hooked up, fuses in. The BMS is going. Switch is on. Solar is on. The uh, battery to battery charger is on. I got power going to the little fuse box. Power going to the inverter. I guess it takes a while to ramp up the voltage. My 12 volt converter is wired in. I have cable management to do. All of the small circuits have to be completely rewired, but I'm gonna clean that mess up and do it differently. And this stuff's gonna be tucked in behind the panel. Before I had this, mess up here get rid of that stuff i'll add more as i do more i'm going to stop for the night i'm tired my back hurts it's hot okay so i'm back at it today getting ready to pull some smaller circuit wiring to feed the smaller things fans charging ports that kind of stuff so i have to feed a charging and switch panel on that side over there and i'm going to feed another one over there by that door I need to feed this fan. I need to feed this charging port. Then we'll feed another wire up for the light. Or this light. That feeds the tape lights. And I want to feed another set of lights up in the ceiling. Pulling through some of the smaller wire for the lights in the fan. And the other negative wire for the bigger stuff. This that feeds the lights, and I will need a uh, you know, 2040 USB, which is this, and I'm making up a harness for that right now. I'm gonna use a little bit of them baby zip ties now. This has to go up into there, and this will pop out the side and hang out for my Christmas lights. Oh. Now, I gotta feed all this stuff up through here, and up through and out there, and then I can uh, start anchoring these things down in there, putting some of that wire loom stuff on it. Gotta tidy those up. I'm gonna put some of that black wire loom on it, and the other one's coming down. I need to bring it over here with these. But you can't see none of this shit, so I'm gonna button it all up. And get I'm trying to fish a wire through the ceiling here so that I can mount this light right there. This wire is gonna go through here and then out to this light in the middle and I might extend another one out out to here just in case I want to pull power later I'm gonna put a little 
wooden panel in there. I just took that out a couple minutes ago. Okay, I got something I can work with. The coat hanger, I started in from the other side, and that was able to get it out this vent hole. I'm gonna hook the wire up back here and pull it through. We're going to switch to the brute force method. There. It usually gets the jobs done, but often it has unintended consequences. I got to pull some out, this hole right here. I'm going to take my poker and stick it in through there to that, pull it down here. Get the hell off of there. Tight spot right here. All right, so I've got this thing marked how I want it. Okay, so here's the configuration I'm going to go with for this panel. There's going to be an XT60 port right there. I have to get these big, big wires down through here, up to that. So I'm getting ready to open up a channel for these conduits to pass through. Gemma, I cannot play with you right now. I think Gemma might know it's dinner time and thinks I forgot. Alright, <clears throat> so we're getting ready to do the final major part of this wiring upgrade. I'm going to pull the wires this switch panel on the other side and this one has a voltmeter usb and an xt60 out this one will have x uh usb two c's and an a and a cigarette socket port i'm getting ready to pull the big wires up there for all that right now And this is what I have on either side of my living space in the van. In the next video, Maggie and I are going to head south and find us some mountains. Here is a link to how I built these batteries and another one to some of the stuff I get up to in the van.